That took seven business days. Hey, hey, it's your girl Andrea, and the sun is shining today. Uh, we are moving the calves that we just worked in the last video out of the barn and going to do some more sorting and calving season prep today. So they have empty bunks, they're ready to go. We had to set up the alleyway, get everybody fed, drop their feed in their new pens. <clears throat> so I'll run them across, you'll see. And then we're gonna sort a couple sears and heifers and then we'll put them in their pen and uh, then they're moved. And then this pen is wide open. We can sort some cows in here. They ring around the rosy of who's calving early, who's not, put them into outside pens if they're not calving early, and then pull the cows in from the field because of the mud. It's gonna be a good time. So keep watching for all the fun with me and my homies. Yeehaw, here we go. Come on. There's always one lazy one. <laughs> Somebody wanted to get a snack on the way. Go kids, go! So these are the bigger steers, mostly all the steers, really, besides the little peewees. But they're getting sorted in with the steers. And then both those are heifers and a couple of really small steers that we're not going to get picked on. Loaded better in the heifer yard, so they're going over there. Good luck, kids. I can't do it. It's scary. See you later. That's where the calves were, so now the... Bunk rail is up higher because we're going to put cows in here later once these guys finish their food. This is the pen that has the not so nice cows in it, along with some really nice cows. So this is the not safe pen when I start calving, but we will have a calving pen sitting in there, so you will have security. So that pen sorted. These two are together. They still need to be sorted yet. Uh, some of these cows have to go out because they're not going to calve right away. And then these ones have to come in. Some of them are going to go out of the barn. Some of them are going to stay in the barn. So we got to sort these yet. And then pens two and one up here are pretty much sorted. There's a couple in here that will go out the outside pens. But there's a bunch of these that are due right away. So it's kind of one or two of the options. Lots of second calf heifers in here. And then these are all first calf heifers and cows that are due right away. All right. Got some... Uh, Got our sorting list ready to rock and did some work stuff here. Caught part of a bull sale for a good friend of ours. Um, also, we're hoping to get some uh, semen straws to AI. Hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> this next uh, spring, early summer. Um, got to watch their sale though, so it's good to have that on while I was multitasking and doing 85 million things at the same time. But now we are headed to the farm. I don't know if dad's been cooing another pen or not I can see the farm it kind of looks like it I'm trying to get the mail right now if you're wondering what I'm doing but maybe I literally have the air conditioning on right now so there's that <laughs> uh, it's too warm outside it is 50 degrees so a couple weeks ago we were negative 50 real feels so that's a hundred degree uh change strange it's just strange is everyone getting along with the new friends looks like they're all pretty chill
Gorilla bag there. A little bag there, a little bag there, a little bit there. And by bag, I mean udder starting to fill a little bit. So they're all starting to get some action. She doesn't have much. Cleaning the barn office, having a grand old time. Plugging up the shop back is what we're doing. <laughs> oh, wow, good timing. Looks like he is about done. Um, it's too muddy to haul, so we're just stockpiling over here. So now we got a pile right on the other side of this wall over here. And then this one, so we're leaving it open so you can get everywhere. But just a little bit left, and then we'll bed it and move some cows. Yeehaw! So we just have clay under this. This is not concrete. The only thing that's concrete in this barn is a little bit of a pad by the water fountain on both sides. So kind of like every other pen, they share one. And then the feed alley and also where you drive to feed. So that is the only place that we have concrete besides walls and such, obviously. So this is just clay that has now hardened and it's froze still. The manure is not. Um, and then we just have manure on top. Because there's a little bit of frozen stuff in spots, but not a lot to be honest. So. But now this is pen number three clean, so he's 50% done. Dad's putting our <laughs> alleyway for moving calves away. We're gonna go wrap up chores, but um, it's kind of the method of the madness. Here's some litos. Oh, you guys are doing so well. Nobody's picking on anybody, which is good. These are not littles, but that's a little. There's a little. They're not that much smaller, which is good. All right. So that was a day in the life of more prep for calving season, all of the shenanigans. Uh, we are 50% clean with the barn now. Gotta figure out the logistics of getting the cows in. I'm not sure um, when that's gonna happen yet. We talked about tomorrow, but now with now the rain hopefully not coming on Saturday, Dad's hoping that maybe we can get another week or two out of them because the longer they're in the field without having major compaction issues, the less manure we have to haul. So. <laughs> we'll see and none of the cows that are out in the field are due until the end of February so there is I mean in like four weeks yet and a couple that are earlier we can watch and also like walk them in so I don't know what's going to happen but half the barn is clean half the barn is bedded every pen gets started with two bales of corn stalks and then we'll keep bale processing to get a nice bed pack we keep the bed pack a lot drier when it is fresh calves in there versus older calves in the summer months etc um or just cows you know just the logistics of when we will get the cows out of the field depends upon if we are still kind of freezing at night how muddy things get i mean we could have dry fields in the next little while if we don't get any moisture and this level of mud just goes down so i'm not really sure what's gonna happen there but uh 
We have four pens in the barn that are sorted. There's a couple extra cows, I guess, a pen too. Um, but otherwise, everything else is like sorted pretty dang good, uh, which feels really good. Um, last year, we didn't sort at all. We kind of just had uh, cows and just pens. We did have the first pen as like first calf heifers and then like Palmer cows just to have them around. And then the last three pens were like West River cows we had purchased because that's where they ended up when they were in the barn the first part. But this time we're sorting so that way cows that are projected, it's not a, uh, not a perfect science, um, from preg check and when I saw heat cycles, etc. that are later are going to be outside of the barn because there's not enough room for all of them in the barn. And then we'll play the swap swap game, hopefully swapping cow calf pairs for cows that need to calve yet. We all know that someone's going to calve outside because it always happens. Just fingers crossed that it's not on a crappy weather day. But um, I'll probably do a more in-depth video of the like organized version of prepping for calving season with the barn just because I know there's going to be some interest in that. So if there's anything specific you want me to cover in that video or questions you have about the barn and calving and things like that, let me know. Um, and then I'll add that to like the cow calf barn playlist. That way, if you're interested in the barn, you can run through all of that. So, but I'm headed home. I think we're gonna grill tonight because it's still 45 degrees, which is fantastic at 5:30 at night. The sun is still shining. My mood is <laughs> boosted for sure. But if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.